Hi, Scorpio family. It's Elle. I hope everybody is doing well. Before we get started, guys, don't forget to hit that subscribe button, like, comment, share, show your love and support, all that good stuff to help the channel grow, help the algorithm, all that, right? So keep the comments positive. It is a way I like to kind of connect with your energy and get collective messages out to you. Uh, usually we typically do over here. I don't know why. <laughs> yeah, I just saw the Empress. We usually stay in high vibes on this channel. So anyway, um, Scorpio. Somebody around you has been acting a fool or will be acting a fool. I just saw the full card. Let me put these down for a minute. I just wanted to shuffle three, three times and I didn't get a, and I didn't get a good energy from that. So, um, before we get started, um, uh, don't forget to, like I said, show your love, show some love. You mean, uh, huh. Retrograde's already got me messed up. Show some love. Um, if you would like to donate, we do have a GoFundMe link set up in the description box below. Many of you guys know I've been on preventative chemo the last six months. This is the last month. I've been out of work since May. So if you would like to donate, anything would be appreciated. We have a Christmas fund up for Katie, family. Uh, you know, we just are on the struggle, but still, you know, I haven't been able to go back to work other than showing up here occasionally. Um, so anything would help us out right now. I know it's hard time. It's, it's a hard time of year for any, everybody probably, but you know, it's there for anybody that can, right? So if you can donate and would like to that information to help with Christmas and just the holidays, make it help us make it through this last month. Cause we're, it's, we're, we're tight. We're extremely tight right now. And it's, you know, it's, but I'm grateful. I'm very grateful. I'm very grateful for all the help that we've been given to get here so far. Um, I'm very grateful just to have a roof over our head, to have made it this far, to have eaten today, all those wonderful things, right? So um, I'm not forgetting about the gratitude and thank you so much for everybody that has been a big part of this journey for me. I love and appreciate you and always will, right? You have helped change my life forever. So let's get into it, beautiful Scorpios, angels, guides, ancestors. Please help me provide Scorpio sun, moon, rising with any messages you would like for them to receive. Also protect us with your white light of protection through the tarot Archangel Michael. Please block any negative energy being sent our way. Send it back into the universe, into nothingness. Amen. Um, I have been saying a little prayer with multiple Archangels lately. So I've been getting some multiple messages this morning when I pulled some cards. A lot of you uh, could be going through shifts right now. This came out last night. Here it is again. It wanted to fall out. So it's definitely confirmation. Spiritual if you're going through some type of, and like I said before, excuse me, let's pause. ADD, chemo brain, whatever you want to call it. The information for the GoFundMe is in the description box. I can't remember if I said that or not. I sometimes I can't remember what I said five minutes ago, but we're almost through it, right? Spiritual gifts being in hand, Scorpio. So a lot of you guys could be going through some type of spiritual awakening right now or going through some type of a spiritual awakening I just said that twice in a row. So maybe this is like some type of a second spiritual awakening, something that's enhancing gifts. Okay. Searching online, looking for info on you. There is somebody who is looking for you right now. I don't know why we'll clarify in a minute, but that is coming out. So somebody searching for you, looking for information on you, put, could be addressed, just info, whatever, looking you up. Somebody wants to resolve an issue. Okay. That wanted to come out. So whoever's looking for you is trying to resolve some type of an issue. All right. Ooh, somebody could have also had, this came out last night. So, I mean, energies are definitely still lingering from yesterday, right? It was an interesting reading last night. You might want to check it out, right? It was do not do it, Scorpio. Love affair, dirty little secret. Somebody could be somebody's dirty little secret, or this could have been a past situation. This could be somebody who is currently looking for you now. It could have been a past situation where you were a dirty little secret, right? So yeah, there's more depth to it. Okay, so yeah, there's something a little deeper to this situation too, as far as the connection was concerned there was some type of unclear confusion in regards to hmm, something here there was definitely distance or has been distance between the two of you whoever this is but there was somebody that was left bitter in regards to whatever happened here scorpio what else do we have coming out this is a twin flame situation shared feelings reflecting energy so this is somebody that possibly could be a twin flame if you believe in that all right this is the energy of heartbroken destroyed maybe this person could have even come to the conclusion after the fact this was my twin flame you know it's kind of like oh shit <laughs> if you believe in that or just like my person whatever right this energy of i did 
this was, you know, they're trying to find you now because maybe there was some type of disconnect between the two of you and it's been impossible to, to find you or it's been hard to connect. Um, what is this? Somebody's trying to trust their intuition. Tell, I felt that I was getting ready to say it. So somebody, I've been hearing random names in my name in my name random names in my head sometimes like intuitive messages in the shower right so i was going to also say this in that regard it popped in my head it's funny how the card came out right so there could be somebody it could be a twin flame situation right so somebody is trying to get your attention like saying your name over and over again or whatever right there's tele there's there could be some kind of subconscious telepathic situation going on here between if there is a legit twin flame thing you know i'm not a i'm a i'm a skeptic a little bit you know i mean we're scorpios right we got to do our we don't believe until we see it kind of thing right so you know sometimes and uh would not necessarily with everything but like with this kind of scenario i know a lot of scorpios are like eh, is it real is it not i feel like it can be or it is a thing maybe right or is it a soulmate situation there's definitely something where there's a connection where there's some type of inner knowing we've got heart song so it could be some type of a situation where the two of you are past life connected and loved each other in a past life right so there's this telepath there's a telepathic communication going on right somebody doesn't know what to say that's why my, i'm like fumbling on words somebody doesn't know what to say maybe they don't know what to say face to face uh, this is interesting. What's going on here with this energy for Scorpio? I'm scared you will reject me. Yeah, so it's like whatever this is here, there's a situation where I want to kiss you. So I'm not, so I'm definitely very attracted to you, Scorpio. But there's a situation like um, I want to treat you the way you deserve. You know, this person is coming and looking at you. Yeah, like, you know, maybe in the past, okay, you were a dirty little secret. You didn't deserve that. Or there's a situation, maybe they just didn't really understand who you were at the time here going on. Well, yeah, I'm ready to take my mask off. Somebody's ready to tell you the truth. I've been hearing confessions too. So there is some type of a confession of some sort, whether it's with you or this person or some type of like coming together here. And I don't understand why I keep getting telepathic messages. So there's some type of either the two of you doing some kind of subconscious thing, mirroring thing, whether it's names, what something, right? Something where it's like either you see each other, uh, maybe you hear this name or hear something and then like bump into this person or see them out in public or there's something it's like you're almost like kind of on this mirroring wavelength that's like literally coming together or something weird here i don't know what kind of this is an interesting message all right so we have, uh magician all right so this is something that the two of you have manifested possibly all right let's see hmm but we also have somebody abusing their power in the situation. You're going to have to have patience in regards to whatever this abuse of power has been. Uh, with the Nine of Cups, I feel like a lot of you, if you've been single for a while, it's the energy of, look, I'm just working on my money. I'm good by myself. This is something that kind of hits you like, all right, well, here we go. The hangman changing our perspective here. The vulture is kind of doing that, doing the work here. Okay. You're seeing things differently. See the vulture up top. All right. I'm a firm believer of birds and messages, right? So you're seeing the difference in the situation with the hangman here, right? So vultures are kind of that detoxing energy, cleansing energy, getting rid of things that no longer serve your highest good in your life. Maybe this is where spiritual, you know, this could even be the telepath. Ooh, that's what it is. For some of you, if there is some type of connection here the spiritual gift that is being enhanced is a telepathic communication between you and this person or there's telepathic communication all right what else do you want to uh, tell me spirit because there's been so much conflict competition in between you two that hasn't allowed this this thing to come into fruition is what i'm hearing king of cups energy could be involving scorpio this is about to end here there's a death to a situation all right you see the the ten here with all of the graves the ten of swords here you know what's interesting is you can see faces and ghosts in the background here and like skulls or whatever so i feel like whatever this situation was it's like there was a lot in between here there was a lot in between whatever was going on here maybe that's why spirit kind of was like all right well it's time to maybe if it's an important connection you never know what the two of you are meant to be here to do right so um it's kind of like well let's let's 
let's let's do it right let's wake them up and get them together i don't know what's going on here we have a water sign fire sign energy coming through masculine heavy um pisces cancer scorpio aries leo sag all right we have secrets coming out about a community this is a, a community that is no longer connected in some way shape or form here uh community yeah there was no love here shown in the situation i don't know what this has to do with the community it could be breaking away from some type of a you know whatever caused conflict in the situation yeah something involving money and the community Somebody is still keeping an eye on you in that situation. The moon card. Yep, the moon card. It's about secrets. It could be about something that you know. Scorpio. All right, what else do we have? What can you tell me about the moon card energy? pentacles here coming out sometimes this can represent greed knight of wands um secrets coming out about some type of stability here you've been through enough here knight of wands i feel like i feel you almost in this energy of look i've been through enough i'm ready to walk here and it's not like ready to walk from some per specific person place or thing it's just the energy you're in it's kind of like check it right check it check yourself at the door if you come with me at, or come at me with this energy i'm ready to walk i'm not scared with the four of pentacles here we have something in regards to five four of pentacles is financial stability and the five of swords here this is negative energy over top you're gonna there's a secret here all right communication coming in what else in regards to two of cups a partnership this could be a soulmate relationship or sh or what the heck was I about to say? Shit, shit, sationship? I don't know what was that. Okay, partnership, situationship, uh, something shitty for some of you. Wow. I mean, there could be some type of like a crappy note. I don't know what this is, but the word shit wanted to come out. Excuse me, you two, but like, okay, maybe this could be some type of a shit show here. You're getting communication about here with the eight of wands, either working together or work done. Why we have a baby underneath this, I don't know, but there could be some type of a child or baby involved in this situation. Devil energy, Capricorn as well snaky vibes you're kind of ending cycles anyway the interesting thing about this devil card is there's definitely you know there's always a chain here here we have somebody doing magic here with the queen of wands so there's here the element here whether it's manipulation could be manipulation with you know queen of wands king of wands is usually somebody who's typically very attractive so it could even be something like this um when i was doing my daily kind of meditative thing i kept getting the devil card with my angel tarot which is seduction and downfall so be careful about some type of energy here tricky energy showing up i don't know why that's connected this is the foolish foolishness scorpio six of cups it's past energy it could even be connected to past energy that you're surprised in some way shape or form We've got the Ten of Pentacles and the High Priestess, but I feel like for a lot of you, again, Knight of Swords being watched by this energy, you already kind of intuitively have an idea. There's the moon, some type of moon cycle or something you figured out that has to do with the moon cycle or moon cycles here. You've gained some type of knowledge. You already know anyway half the time. I mean, you can't really, you know what time it is if you're a Scorpio. Anyway, the Wheel of Fortune is cycles changing though right so regardless there's a major cycle changing here that has had to do with heartache here we've got aquarius energy aquarius libra gemini aries energy uh the king of pentacles we've got the emperor the star card three of swords taurus virgo capricorn queen of cups right things you don't see 
I do have a sense here with whatever some of this is, there is a need to protect your energy a little bit. The Seven of Wands is coming out, the Queen of Swords needing to move to calmer waters. I've been pulling a lot of like whatever this Queen of Swords energy is. This might not be another person's energy because it's coming out with the Seven of Swords. I'm feeling like it's more like, okay, you're keeping an eye on me. There's some type of control here. Somebody wants to put you in this energy of heartbreak and regrets. I'm sorry to say it, but that's what's on the table and it has to do with some type of an energy here that is abusing power in some way shape or form Aries Aquarius energy All right with the Queen of Swords and the Seven of Wands I do feel like it's you kind of doing your research look at this chick it's kind of like all right I see it I understand what I'm trying or I need to protect myself from at this time moving to calmer waters look you see all the drama there's angels here protecting you helping guide you in a different direction you're going to be successful moving forward with the direction that you choose yeah and I feel like the biggest thing here is just keeping your cool here right I don't like this knight of pentacles in this deck because he looks like to me this is the king of cups but then you've got somebody here with money on the table and in this book it looks like a pentagram so it's like almost somebody paying for work here paying to fuck up some type of happiness for you because we've got the ten of cups underneath that it could even be just simply slowing you down but when with the hair offense there's it could even be mm. if you're somebody in heavy into spirituality it's like an energetic thing too here it's basically a lot of times when stuff like that comes out to me it's just the only word i can say is spiritual warfare right you know, how, how, how else can you make sense of some of this shit when it comes to some of it? But we've got a spiritual teacher with a nine of cups. He's got the angel next to him. It's kind of, and he's got his hand on the book. Like what you, what you, you truly do believe in, you speak and walk the truth in some way, shape or form. I don't know if this is intimidating or caused some type of situation here in the past. Um, but it's also caused somebody that to again here we go uh it could be a virgo we do have the knight of pentacles doesn't necessarily have to be i think it can also virgo gemini or just virgo i think it's just virgo energy with a knight of pentacles um let's see let's do love so there are warning messages i do feel like cycles are changing there's something here going on here six of wands so a cycle changing and having being successful right with whatever this is why do we have the Knight of Wands that keeps showing up in this situation? Scorpio energy. What else? Ten of Wands. The Sun card. Somebody's watching to see if you're stressed out or if you're happy. You know what? I Give them a show if you got to, Scorpio. You know what I mean? If they're watching like that and the Spirit's saying give them, give them a show and keep on moving. There's the Chariot card, right? So... Uh, yeah, and it's time for you to celebrate, right? I think this tower isn't yours because it's behind. So you've got coming together here, celebrating, moving forward. Then we have a tower. I don't feel like this tower is associated with you. I feel like this is why Spirit is saying get a different perspective on this shit, right? You know what I mean? The magician here, you've manifested something. Excuse my language, but much better anyway. There is a message here also of somebody, it could be a mother figure, maternal figure, um, needing, a, it could mean a couple things. Queen of Pentacles, needing to take a break. Pa Page of Wands is a message. Um, I don't want to spend too much time on this energy, but it does. I don't know how this relates to you in this situation. There's kind of a message coming in of somebody. Um, it could even be some type of like spiritual retreat or something here. But it's like being forced here to, it's like they're somebody, this is weird. Somebody could literally be hiding 
at a spiritual retreat. Like, what a freak. I'm sorry. It's just like the weirdest message that I've gotten. So maybe you really need to be there. Maybe hiding there will wake you up. I don't know whoever that is. Somebody connected to the situation. <laughs> is literally hiding at a spiritual retreat. So something that had to do with some secrets coming out, there's the moon card, whatever this is, there's somebody hiding from some type of secret coming out here. Page of Pentacles coming out though, following your heart, good news in regards to money, Scorpio. A lot of you here in the past have taken some sort of a heavy loss. Maybe this is why somebody's hiding here. There's some type of a connection here, Six of Pentacles, just redistribute your energy again. Um, I feel like the major focus is not the past. Again, moving forward, you've got the four of wands. Again, we did have twin, twin flame soulmate energy. You know, this could also be just being happy within mind, body, and soul. Um, I kind of want to get another reading in today, so I'm going to leave it there, guys. Um, I'm going to pick back up with the extendeds probably again next week or so. Um, I did try to start doing those. I will do them again, but I'm trying to... You know get some other videos out this week because I hadn't been able to uh, before when I didn't have the energy so um, this is a mutual thing okay divine guidance so you're being again divinely guided away from some type of deceptive energy that you're really gonna have to it's like soul do some soul searching about a lot of you are gonna have to step up and even like confront if you're not like a confront con confront confrontate I can't talk retrogrades already messing me up if you're not a confront if you don't like to com confront people fuck it <laughs> okay god damn it <laughs> excuse my language if you don't like to confront people in situations some of you may be forced to do so but it is for the best it looks like the seven of swords is somebody trying to get away with something here um it's like, oh, you didn't see me stab that animal and run away with all, this is a creepy card, but that's what he did. He, he literally just sacrificed an animal and ran off, right? No, but this person thinks that they got away with it, but they're angels here in the background. So we've got hermit energy, Virgo energy. You know, I feel like, again, this is the energy of needing to do some soul searching about what some type of deception has been around you. And I hate saying that in a Scorpio reading because then I feel like we have to get off on this whole other thing. But what, it, what I'm saying is don't focus on that, right? This past, maybe do some more soul searching in regards to, um, it seems like whatever loss that you've taken, you've transmuted this energy and move forward. Because we do have this, and you've moved forward with the sun card. You're getting good news. Your good things are happening, and there's divine guidance and protection here. And I've also recently been somewhere where I saw a hawk randomly just like fly down right in front of me, and I looked it up, and it was divine guidance. So, and I haven't spoke about that in a collective message, but I felt led to do that too. So you could like pay attention to the signs. That's the biggest things. It's like you eventually, you know, maybe there'll be connecting signs, right? Maybe that one's going to connect to something else, whatever it is, you know, it, it's all about maybe even the soul searching any energy it could be grounding yourself more, stepping away from other energies where you're confused, right? We do have the four swords here too. So it could be even taking a break, but I feel like that has some, that's more of somebody taking a little vacay, trying to get away from karma here in a situation. And I feel like the secret is out or coming out. I'm going to leave it there, Scorpio. I hope this resonated for someone. I'm going to do another quick reading that kind of dives more into love a little bit. So until next time, lots and love and light. Bye.